I want to show you the latest on Nicole right now with winds at 45 miles per hour moving to the northwest at 15. It is moving away from us, so that is the good news. But as we've been mentioning, we're still feeling some of the effects with Nicole. This will move into Georgia by tomorrow morning and then weaken to remnant low by tomorrow afternoon. But a couple of our counties are still under a tropical storm warning, including Marion and Flagler counties. But I do think these will should be lifted by this evening as conditions do gradually improve as that system moves off to the north and west. But here we go. We're still looking at coastal concerns, even though most of us are no longer on tropical storm warnings. Beach hazards, especially along Volusia County and down into Brevard County, still looking at 10 foot breakers out there. And in Volusia and, and Brevard County, we're still looking at the possibility of coastal flooding through tomorrow morning because of the rough surf and rough seas out. Right now, we're seeing quite a bit of dry air getting entrained on the southern side of Nicole, so we're really seeing just very limited showers right now. Over Paisley, a spot shower. Over Longwood, a few showers. And out by the theme parks and along the I-4 corridor, just a passing shower or two. Still quite breezy out, though, with winds out of the south, about 15 to 25 miles per hour. Gusts a little stronger at times other than that. And we're seeing gusts around 29 to 30 at times, but we'll see those wind gusts gradually subside as we go into night and into the overnight hours. As Nicole lifts north. We could see a final band move over to northwestern counties up into Marion County tomorrow morning and then tomorrow we do dry on out and we'll actually see conditions improve and the wind speeds decrease as well. So as we go through the rest of the evening, expect mostly cloudy skies, breezy winds out there with temperatures dropping out into the low 70s and the good news is we are seeing huge improvements by the weekend. As we look ahead for the weekend, Sunday a cold front moves through. Behind that front we are going to see refreshing Crushing fall air move into central Florida. Look at that lows by Monday morning in the 50s. But again, we're still watching those coastal conditions because we're still seeing some high seas out there. Seas as high as 17 to 18 foot waves.